A Trump campaign official has been outed as the man who was at the Capitol riot on video threatening police officers. The man, his name is uh, Dylan Quattrucci, is currently Trump's deputy state director in New Hampshire for his 2024 campaign. So he is the number two guy for Trump's campaign in the state of New Hampshire. And he was there with the mob during the Capitol riot. Now there is a video clip. I'm not going to play it because of the language. Uh, but if you want to see it, check out the link in the description of this video, but I am going to read you part of what this guy said. And I'm going to do my best to uh, censor it, which is why I'm not playing the video, but here are just some of the things the man said. If you are a police officer and are going to abide by unconstitutional bull, mm -hmm, I want you to do me a favor right now and go hang yourself because you're a piece of, yeah. Uh, he then says, go F yourself. And then he continues. I work for the Republican party. I'm done. I'm going to attack and I'm going to effing go. And I am not having this blank. So he admits January 6, 2021, I work for the Republican party. And of course that was, that was long before he became the number two guy for Trump's 2024 campaign in New Hampshire. He says, I'm going to attack, tells police officers to end themselves. And this is a guy who Donald Trump has picked to help run his campaign in New Hampshire, because these are the kinds of people that Donald Trump attracts. Now it should be noted that this man, as far as I've been able to tell, has not faced any charges uh, for anything at the Capitol. Uh, you know, there's no evidence at this point that he actually entered the building. So being in the mob and even saying these horrific things is technically not illegal. The only thing that would be illegal is if you have him actually assaulting a police officer, which again, there's no evidence for that. Uh, if he went into the building so far, no evidence has emerged of that. So this guy technically did not do anything illegal. Let's make that absolutely clear. No illegal activity on behalf of this man, but that doesn't make his actions any less disgusting. And it doesn't make the Trump campaign any less disgusting. Now that this individual is working for Donald Trump again, and I can't stress this enough. These are the kinds of people that Trump attracts. These are the kind of people that gravitate towards him. And these are the kinds of people that Donald Trump likes. There is nothing, nothing whatsoever that would excuse this kind of language used against the police officers, used against the government, nothing. So as of, uh, as of this recording at this moment, this man has so far not been released from the Trump campaign. But of course, now that this information is out there, there's multiple reports. The original report came from NBC news. So it is big news. So it'll be interesting to see what happens to this guy. Does Trump leave him on staff or does he have to kick out a little faithful servant who was just trying to overturn the election for him? We'll have to wait and see. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.